Carl Pei just announced the new Nothing launcher. I wanted to take a look at it. And just right from the get-go, I am not exactly sure what is supposed to be impressive about this. This seems like it's a Android open source launcher. There's no Google Discover feed to the left. Uh, Carl Pei did mention, or it, there was mention of some new widgets. Uh, let's go ahead and show you guys what these widgets are. They are the uh, like smart nothing launcher widgets. Here's an analog clock. We can make it bigger or smaller. There isn't any kind of left or right adjustment on it. I don't find it particularly aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't give me the weather or any other type of information. Let me show you the next clock that we have. We have a digital version of this clock. We can do solid or we can do transparent. Here it is transparent. And it's just a dot matrix clock. I, widget settings, I, I don't see what's so special about this stuff. These widgets aren't even particularly helpful or smart. They are just clocks and not even that particularly aesthetically pleasing, uh, per aesthetically pleasing clocks. It needs my location, Celsius, Fahrenheit, specific location. And that's your weather <laughs> like widget. I, 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 really, I really don't see what the whole appeal of this launcher is. Uh, there's the Google feed down at the bottom, which makes it kind of similar to Pixel. Great. There's no Google Discover feed. The animations for it are sped up. The animations of it are, are definitely sped up. Uh, I can go ahead and show you guys a little side by side with what the stock launcher is in a second. But this to me, it doesn't feel particularly revolutionary. It's just a, a quick minimalistic launcher without a ton of animations, but you can go ahead and turn off the animations for the launcher in Samsung settings if you don't want to have those animations. So again, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of Carl Pei for a lot of the stuff that he's doing. I think that he's a little bit of a like over, over blown hype beast uh, in regards to like what he has to offer the tech community. Although this is kind of a nice breath, breath of fresh air, but this isn't anything special, especially when we have things like Samsung's uh, smart widgets, which allow you to combine multiple widgets uh, in one widget, which I really, really like. I think that the Samsung smart widget actually does give you a little bit more functionality uh, to it. Here, we'll go ahead and we'll set the Samsung launcher for home. Here's the One UI launcher. And you can see there definitely is a little bit of a difference in regards to app opening speed, but most of that is just based on animations, which can be turned off here. We'll go ahead and we'll turn off all animations right now. And here we go. This is Samsung launcher without animations. And as you can see, without animations, the Samsung launcher is basically just as fast. It's not much in the way of difference. So yay, Carl Pei giving us something that we can kind of accomplish on our own. I, again, guys, maybe I'm salty, but this to me just feels kind of like an Android open source launcher with some features taken out of it, some other things added and some snappy animations, but this doesn't really change how I use the device. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried the new Nothing Launcher? Is it unimpressive to you the same way it's unimpressive to me? Let me know in the comment section down below.